Hey Internet, today's topic is Ask Me Anything, 11th October 2020. Have you had trouble with the law? This is friend number one. No, no court proceedings, convictions or prison time. Only thing I had trouble with is like a small fine for like going 10k's over the speed limit. Um, do you do drugs? I'm sensing a theme here, friend number one. Um, I don't do illegal drugs, uh, if I've been prescribed medical drugs for medical reasons, I take them. Um, you may see me darting around um, just because my questions are set up on one side, I've got notes on the other side, and the camera's in the middle. Right, back to it, friend number two, you seem sad a lot of the time. Are you depressed? Uh, that's a good question. Um, do I look depressed? Uh, I think I'm just tired all the time, like uni, work. Also, like, I guess in the YouTube community, like YouTubers act all happy and nice. Um, I don't do that. This is just me. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, no, not the press, just, you know, I think tired. Tired is the um, best response. Why are your videos so quiet? Um, I think it's just a headset. It's a noise cancelling headset, so it may just sound a lot softer. Friend number three, what are you going to do after you graduate? So I'm just applying for graduate roles at the moment. Um, yeah, the end is nigh. Uh, I'm about to graduate in three, well, I finish all my coursework and in, in three weeks. And then in December, I graduate. Fingers crossed the pandemic doesn't shut the country down again. But yeah, looking forward to it. Um, that's my phrase, the end is nigh. and. Everyone gets a little laugh uh, out of that. What's your favorite car? So for classics, it would be a 1969 or 1972 Chevrolet Camaro, um, like fully restored um, petrol engine, of course. But if it's a modern one, then it would probably still have the 69 or 72 chassis, but with um, a modern electric motor and modern electronics yeah so uh, if you don't know what a 1969 or 72 um, Chevrolet Camaro is uh, watch the movies Transformers and Bumblebee um, maybe not so much Bumblebee because that's like a beetle but Transformers it's it's Bumblebee the it's the yellow and black um, racing stripes you know the car um the one that um shea lipper drives yeah okay friend number four will you be a pro youtuber or full-time youtuber what are your goals for youtube so for this one i'm going to refer to my notes um one sec okay so, uh, to be a full-time content creator, it's all thanks to you guys, the viewers. Um, if I can get more viewers, then maybe I'll consider it. Maybe like 100k viewers. Um, well, 100k subs and then a consistent 50k views. Um, to go full-time, I think I would need like at least a one year dedicating myself to YouTube and then there have been youtubers that have been doing YouTube for like seven to ten years like without any payoff so I don't think YouTube's like uh, a career for me I kind of need money um, got bills to pay as for goals uh, yeah okay so uh, YouTube does send me like helpful tips and stuff every month it's like 
hey, your channel's done good, but maybe you can do X, Y, and Z. Like, they'll improve your channel by this amount. And I think they do it to all YouTubers. Maybe more so towards, like, the higher end and, like, for, like, the unknown or, like, starting out YouTubers like me. They just send, like, your generic email um, with these bullet points. <clears throat> but, yeah, they like, just basically saying... If you split your channel into these categories, you'll get a lot more viewerships because it won't clash with like um, the genre. So split them into a specific niche, like Simon's Life, um, Simon's Gaming, Engineering with Simon. Then like your audience will be more focused. So they do send emails like that, and which is cool. Uh, in terms of goals specifically I think I'm just using the YouTube tier system as my goal so my first one is reach 100 subs so I can customize my URL so it'll make it easier for people to search me up and then reach 1k subs with 4k hours viewed so then I can get um, ad rev with the YouTube partnership um, but since everyone's got ad block it doesn't really matter but once I hit that then hit 5k subs so then I can work with the local sponsors in 5 to 10k I believe that's like your low international sponsors um, yeah so that's that'll be all your mobile games um, I would throw in that plug about Shadow, you know, the one, but yeah, if I say their name, it's going to be bad. Um, yeah, not hashtag, not sponsored. Uh, anyways, um, you know what I mean. Um, so about 10 to 50k, you know, probably about like medium sponsors internationally, 50 to 100k is probably like the mid to high tier international sponsors. And then 100 to 500k, probably like merch store. Um, but I don't think this channel will be like pro anytime soon. Maybe in the next 10, 20 years, it might reach like the low 10k mark. Because uh, like right now, it's just like me doing it as a hobby. Um, in terms of the future of this channel, so I think once I graduate and then I'll spend a little bit of time like just pushing out tutorials for engineering and then once I've got all the tutorials out of the way I think I might like just switch it up a little bit and just do a little bit of gaming like you know just maybe one video gaming and then one video engineering just because like it gets, you know, you kind of just want to stay sane and keep it fresh. So it'll mainly be engineering, but it'll, I'll switch it up. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, what kind of games would I play? So Overwatch. Um, yeah, so basically I just got to state that it's not for kids. So and so the copper won't like um, strike me down. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much basically what I need to do um, for gaming is because YouTube's quite strict on gaming now or like content that's semi aimed for kids which they frowned upon because they don't want kids using YouTube that's well children that are under 13 basically so yeah um, Overwatch maybe Overwatch 2 if that comes out maybe RuneScape who knows um, there's a new game that I want to play but it's not yet developed it's probably going to release in 2022 Ashes of Creation it looks really good um, but we'll see it's still two years away Alpha's this year then Beta's next year so yeah I mean if, if it's good I'll probably play it, but yeah, time will tell. It's two years away. 
I think that's all the questions. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Until next time. See ya.